Hello, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Well, it's time for tarot scopes again. We're going to be doing the tarot scopes for the sign of Taurus. That is Taurus Sun, Taurus, Taurus Rising, maybe North Node in Taurus, perhaps, um, for the month of February 2023. And of course, Taurus is a Venus ruled sign. And uh, so we're going to take a look and see um, what is in store for uh, Taurus. Venus is in uh, Pisces this month and then moves into Aries. And so it's going to be in your uh, your 11th house. Venus is moving through your 11th and then your 12th house. And uh, Venus loves the 11th and the 12th house, actually, because it is a uh, it's a collective house. It's powerful in uh, in Pisces, especially exalted in Pisces. And so um, and beyond that, of course, you have um uranus still in your sign it's there for seven years and so it's wreaking a little havoc as it were <laughs> but uh you know um few earthquakes a few uh volcanoes you know the, the small stuff um but it's about change it's about change and necessary change uh whether we like it or not and i think we're getting more and more aware of the need for um shifting our economy um, shifting our values and shifting uh, the way we live. And all of that is very much connected to Taurus. So I'm going to use the Illuminated Earth Oracle for my tarot deck. Now, as some of you may know, the Illuminated Earth Oracle is not actually a tarot deck. It's an oracle deck. Uh, so it doesn't have the regular tarot uh, cards. So this is fun because you really use your intuition with these cards. And these are from a, an artist out of... Uh, the Pacific Northwest. Her name is Claire Mack. I got these cards on Etsy and uh, they're beautiful. I love these. They're high quality, beautiful cards. So if you're interested, you can go to Etsy. The Illuminated Earth Oracle. This is what it looks like. Okay. Can you see that? I know. It's so illuminated. It's hard to see. There we go. <laughs> Hence the illumination. Okay, where are we starting? Hmm. We have structure. We have structure here. Um, of course, Uranus is in your sign, so all your structures are being shaken to the core. However, there are certain things that even Uranus can shake free. Um, but this is about being aware of your structure um, because you're, to a certain extent, you're Happiness, your contentment depends on um, what you value and how you're able to bring those values into physical manifestation. You're a Taurus. Let's see the challenge to that. Memories, memories. There are some uh, things from the past that may be disrupting your ability to build to the structures that are necessary for your survival and ultimate thrival. One of the things about Taurus is we're learning how to appreciate self in Taurus. And so sometimes um, it depends, it, it depends. Like most Tauruses that I know um, make sure that their needs are met first, um, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> Because if you don't have a stable foundation, you can't be of any help to anybody else. And I find that those people are generally very generous as well, but they're generous to themselves. And I think that um, that is something that is important for all of us, but perhaps especially for Taurus. Um, and there may be some memories from the past that are disrupting that sense. Let's see what's in the, in the what's underneath it. Gifts, gifts. These are your talents. These are the gifts that you've been given to work with in this lifetime. So if there is some, some doubt craw uh, crawling in, remember what you're good at. Remember what you're good at. Let's see what's in the past. We have anguish. So there's been some sort of traumatic incident from the past. Um, this could be around a loss. Of course, nothing, nothing really 
disturbs the apple cart more than an unexpected loss um, that you feel like either you had no um, control over or worse yet, you may have had some or feel like you may have had some control over. Um, this is a this is a, a difficult card. And uh, we see the person on the bottom is barely sketched out. And uh, what is uh, sort of in the head um, doesn't allow for the energy to come into the body in a way. And uh, I just want to see what, what this is above her head. It looks like some sort of bird. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is though. It's very interesting. And then we have this sort of thorny crown of thorns, so to speak here. This is suffering of the mind. Hmm. Let's see what's in the sky. The meandering path. Almost every time I use these cards, this card comes up, and it's usually right here, right at the top of the right at the top of the reading. This is about the twists and turns in life, and this is a reminder that sometimes we are closer to our center than at other times, uh, but we always end up coming back to center and eventually making it to full illumination. So. This is really asking you to just remember who you are at this point. Um, <clears throat> in the immediate future, we have release. So there is something that needs to be let go of. Perhaps it's the anguish that you feel. Perhaps it's the sense of uh, undeservabil indeser undeservability, undeservability, not being deserving. <laughs> that was easier. Uh, but definitely something needs to be let go of this month. And this can also be a forgiveness, a, a necessary forgiveness, um, so that you can um, really release yourself, release your energy. How it's seen from the outside, we have the moon card. People are seeing you as somewhat um, mentally, you know, emotionally vacillating, which is not something they're used to seeing. But, you know, you have Uranus in your sign. So, geez, I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Plus, um, the north node of the moon is in Taurus. So you're, you're leading the way. And when you're dealing with the north node and you're dealing, when you're dealing with the nodes, you're dealing with the moon and you're dealing with your feelings. And the north node is about moving into unknown territory. So it takes a lot of courage to be doing that. And oftentimes it just takes a good kick in the butt. And Uranus is really good at that. So let's see your domestic situation. Oh, this is good healing. I love this. I love this card. I love this card. Yeah, this is the healing. So if there's been tumult or distress or um, this is all like, this is all really speaking of you're in the process of healing something. You're in the process of dealing with the anguish and the loss um, and the, for the healing to happen. There are hopes and fears, attachments. You don't like to let go of your stuff, especially if it's been hard earned, um, but you understand the need for it, I think. Um, nobody hopes for barnacles. <laughs> But uh, it is hard to get them off. It takes a lot of the scraping, I think. And uh, and you, some people wonder if they can actually do that. But you can. But do you have the strength to scrape all those barnacles off? And then we have reincarnation to remind us that, uh, you know, reincarnation can be another lifetime. But it could also be, uh, you know, we're constantly changing, constantly reinventing ourselves. Uh, and understand that, you know, it's all in a process that's sometimes bigger than we can see. And I'm not just, I'm not talking necessarily about, you know, lifetime to lifetime, although we could apply it to that, but just this sort of reinvention that we do within ourselves. Um, and when we have transpersonal planets like Uranus, like pushing us to 
change and 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 Uranus, if you know Uranus and Taurus, if it doesn't change, it usually breaks. So there's a breaking out and a breaking down and a breaking through. Uh, with this Uranian energy in your sign. And so you kind of have to allow it to happen. And then you see where you're at when after it's done, you see where you're at and then you can re you can reorient yourself and, and start to stabilize. And underneath it all, we have balance and the deluge, which deals with, uh, well, it could be an actual deluge. If you live in California, you know what I'm talking about here, right? Atmospheric rivers, what? Anyway, um, this is part of the, 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 the crying and the balancing and the emotional releases are part of the balancing process um, and uh, an ability to look at yourself to look at yourself and see, you see, she's got a rock on top of her head. She would not necessarily know that if she didn't reflect, if she didn't see it in her reflection. So maybe become more aware of where your blocks are through reflection, whether it's inner reflection or what other people are, uh, what other people are showing you. Because very often it's our relationships that show us what we need to either work on, work with, um, if it seems like it's all their fault, it's your, it's you. <laughs> if you think it's all your fault, then you, then you're, you're being a martyr and that doesn't help at all, <laughs> at all. Um, so, um, it, it's, it's really about listening in a way to that small still voice within Taurus the, the sign of Taurus is associated with the Hierophant card, which is about just that, listening. Clear audience, listening to the small, still voice. Uh, instead of listening to the voices of other people who are trying to tell you who you are. Okay. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful month. Like and subscribe, if you will. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> that way more people can see it. Uh, I do have a Patreon channel if you want to support me that way. They do have special things on my Patreon that people on YouTube do not see, but most of my stuff is on YouTube. So if you like what I do here and you want to support me, you could support me on Patreon for what I do on YouTube. And then you also get a little extra on Patreon, but I'm going to build that channel a little bit more. Um, just had some personal stuff come up as many of you know. Um, yeah. that has to be dealt with before I can uh, put that kind of time in. So, all right, guys, have yourself a wonderful month and I'll see you again next month for Terrascopes for March for the sign of Taurus. Until then, namaste and shine your light.